Okay, y'all. So let's start off by like, I don't, I'm using a new foundation now and I don't like it. Like I've had it on all day and like, I feel like I look like splotchy. Like, this is not cute, but I'm not about to take it off right now. Cause I'd rather have it on and no makeup in the video. <laughs> Anyways, so if you're wondering, all the noise around, Pooh's playing in his room. The dishwasher's going. This is literally the only time I have to record. It's pouring down raining outside and it's just, but this is the only, like I, since I can't go outside to do nothing, this is all I got to do right now. So this is what we're doing. And I got an empty for you. Okay, <laughs> but now I, y'all can see the bag is full little fuller than I wanted it to be but let's get into it oh by the way my shirt is a daddy's little what does it say monster um I want to say Harley Quinn has this shirt on in Suicide Squad I don't remember if it said the exact same thing I think it does but yeah so <laughs> pretty sure I got it from Hot Topic I think <laughs> but all right let's get into it so first we got Oh, it's shower gel. Y'all know it takes me forever to go through these. We got Bath and Body Works Beautiful Day Shower Gel. Okay. Let's see what we... Yeah, it was decent, but y'all know I like real, like, fruity stuff. This was floral, and I'm not a big floral fan. But it's out of there. Next. Okay. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot of hair products in here. I can tell y'all that right now. <laughs> we got the Myel Organics uh white peony leave-in conditioner this is my stuff this is the old packaging it's new packaging now with the uh with the different squirt little pump or whatever at the top love that always love that we'll continue to love that next okay so next we got here let me get all of these y'all probably can't tell but you can tell a little bit at the top i color my hair okay well no not even that i did a whole video on it Paige, shut up. Okay. <laughs> and this is the color I use, if anybody hasn't watched the video. It's the Ion Permanent Color Brilliance in Light Red Brown. I used three. Okay. So, that's how much it takes for my hair. Those are the ones I use a lot. That brand, that specific one. So, I like it. Next. Okay, I pulled out two things. Okay. <laughs> This is the Garnier Pratis Damage Eraser Conditioner. I like this, but y'all know we trying to get out of the Garnier Fructis era. So I think I have a couple more Garnier Fructis products and then I'm done, son. Okay. Oh, and by the way, my voice, I've been like kind of sick for like the past week. So this is what's left <laughs> is my voice. So sorry. Next, we got the Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber, Amber Bath and Body Works Body Lotion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember now. This this stuff is bomb. I know they brought it back for the semi-annual five years ago. <laughs> but, that yeah, that's about right. Five years ago. I don't know if they brought it back, but y'all know I'm not buying Bath and Body Works lotion no more unless it's the sensual black currant vanilla. It's the only one. Next. <laughs> the Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Body Scrub. Now, I got this some years ago, and I don't know if it's because it was old or what, but it was real. Like, y'all see, like, I just had to squeeze it like this. It was so thick, it would not come out. It was so thick that at one point it was, like, hella watery, and, like, I tried shaking it up, and it's like it wouldn't mix. I was just like... This is ass. So, but it smelled like you can smell it pretty strong. Like so, like I don't know. Maybe I'll buy one again. I don't know. I don't even know if they still sell the body scrub. I don't know. That was that was very unsatisfying. So next, the wild growth hair oil. I don't know if it works. I honestly do not know if it made my hair grow. Y'all know I don't use one oil at a time. So. I probably should to figure it out, but not today. Not this time. No. So, I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> Next is the Formula 1006 
so totally clean everyday cleansers sensitivity formula and cucumber i think that's supposed to say sea kelp but it's like all rubbed off or whatever so um i like this next thing i'm not doing a lot i didn't like this i i think it's because i'm hooked to the clean and clear astringent that is my oh my god that is my favorite toner of all time I don't want no witch hazel. I don't want no sea breeze. I don't want. I want the clean and clear astringent. Oh my god! If y'all have never tried that, you have to. It is the best. It is the bomb. I've gone through tens of thousands of bottles in my whole life. Okay, try that. Next, we have the. We got a wallflower in winter woods. I literally just did this one. It was in my room. I don't know. I'm confused on if I liked it or not. Like, sometimes I walked into my room and was like, ooh, this smells nice. And sometimes I walked into my room and I was like, mm, I need that to be done. So, <laughs> the scents are cedarwood, cashmere, musk, and vanilla bean. Can't tell you which one of those I smelled the most. I honestly smelled coconut. That's probably why I didn't like it. My nose somehow mixed all those together and smelled coconut. So, and y'all know how much I hate coconut. So, yeah. <laughs> next we have a makeup product and y'all know that is rare let alone the foundation okay y'all not have done plenty tutorials with this with the estee lauder can y'all even see that <laughs> the estee lauder double wear in cashew so yeah that's gone and i'm not gonna repurchase that sorry sorry unless they change it to where it's in pump form i, oh, I can't blah okay yeah moving on okay another makeup product is the who is this cover yeah the cover girl um lash blast in the or i guess the lash bloom it's not the lash blast and yeah this was decent i wouldn't buy it again though y'all know i'm back to using my Too Faced better than sex mascara nothing can top that mascara i don't care what y'all say what y'all do Too Faced better than sex mascara is the best mascara ever made and it just might be better than sex i ain't gonna push it that far but it just might be okay <laughs> we got two more i guess bath products you would say the twilight woods body scrub i didn't like this one i felt like the chunks were like too big and they never they no matter how hard you rubbed them they didn't break down so i was just like that's not okay so it's a no for me, dog. They discontinued that one. I don't know if they sell it online now, but I know they discontinued it. All right, now we got the Body Ecology Bath Bombs in Cherry Blossom. Okay, so I get those from Kroger, okay? And the last couple times I've had to buy some bags, I cannot find the, what's the scent? Sweet Love. But they got it in the, in the body wash, the spray, the lotion, even I think it's the scrub but I cannot find the Body Ecology Sweet Love bath bombs anymore. And I really prefer that one. I hate cherry blossom. Man, anybody who knows me knows I hate cherry blossom. I'm really upset about that. And every time I go, no matter which Kroger I go into, they do not have the Sweet Love one. And I'm highly upset. Anyways, I'll survive. Possibly. Maybe not. Next. We have another body product. The Winter Candy Apple Body Lotion in the Shimmer Swirl Lotion. All right. Y'all know I've been going through my Shimmer Swirls. I think I have two left. One now, and then I think it's one that I still haven't touched yet. And then after that, I think I've finally gone through my Shimmer Swirls, which I'm kind of sad about. All right. Next is the Shea Moisture, the Yucca and Plantain anti breakage Strengthening Style Milk with bobab oil and cilantro extract all that right there this wasn't that bad but baby which which one is in the orange bottle the coconut and hibiscus style in milk or whatever it is that does wonders to this okay okay y'all first of all y'all see i don't know what's going on with my hair okay this side this little pieces don't want to curl all the way these want to curl too tight and i don't know what's going on in the back so i'm just letting it do what it want to do 
child, hey. <laughs> but nah, yeah, like, but nah, they one in the coconut and hibiscus, I think that's what it's called. People said the formula has changed, so I don't know if I want to buy it again. Next, we have the, so I ran out of these, like, almost around the same time. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation in Cashew. Now, look, I know y'all can see that it's still, like, some in, right, right here, but, like, it barely comes out and then like when I try to use a brush and I'm not about to fuck up my brush to get no little bitty corner out okay so it is what it is that's done out the way wash my hands of it and moving on so all right the main choice deep strengthening and restorative mass treatment the what is it it's rubbed off and everything I think it's like the green tea and carrot something like that uh deep conditioner i liked it i didn't love it but i liked it i'll use it again i have to i have another one but <laughs> i liked it so yeah i'll try it again another time what is why is this wet Anyways, we have the frosted cranberry three wick candle from bath and body work <sighs> smells amazing but was it this one? I think it was this one. This one took me forever. Because one of them wouldn't light. So, like, I don't know. Bath and Body Works been slipping on their pivot man with the candles. I swear. I don't know what they're doing or who is in the lab. But whoever's in the lab fucking shit up needs to get out of the lab. Okay? Because I know a lot of other YouTubers been talking about the candles have not been burning well. So, y'all need to go back to square one or kick doofus out of the lab. Okay? Thank you. Moving on. She had a mini candle in the Caribbean Escape. I've actually had that for years. I can tell you that right now. And I think I got one more mini candle that I had bought around the same time. And I don't light them because they don't fill up a room like the smell. So I don't light them. So I finally just lit it and let it burn all day one day and got rid of it. This one is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with this. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Uh, the beginning of that, I hated it. Middle of it, I loved it. Towards the end, I hated it again. So, probably won't be buying that again. Uh, we got the Be Enchanted Luxury Bubble Bath. Okay, then. They don't make the bubble baths anymore, from what I remember, in any of the sense. But they need to bring the Be Enchanted Bubble Bath back. That's thebomb.com in case anybody was wondering you probably weren't but whatever <laughs> another body lotion the bath and body works aruba coconut body lotion and y'all y'all know i don't y'all know i don't do too well with the coconut so if they ever bring that scent back you know damn well i'm not buying it i don't know how i ended up with that one i think sometimes i'll be smoking crack and don't even be knowing it and be going into bath and body works and getting these scents they got coconut in it because there's no way I I did this of sound mind and bought all these coconut scented products. No way. Next, we have a, the main choice vegetable glycerin, 100% um, pure organic oil. They don't sell this anymore. They at one point sold a bunch of different oils. Now they just have like the growth oil and stuff like that. But they used to have individual oils that they sold. At one point, I bought them all. I'm slowly going through all of them. I think I might have one or two more. That's it. We have the Bath and Body Works Pocket Back and Watermelon Lemonade. Y'all, don't mind my nails. Oh, yeah, that smells good. No, the one I'm using now is, uh, I think it just says, I think it's just a strawberry. Man, if they don't bring that back, that thing smells so good. Oh, my gosh, I'm in love every time I use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, but that is it for my empties. Let me bathe this baby and get him in the bed because he is yelling at me. But all right, y'all. Holler to play when we see him in the streets.